I just rolled out of bed here on the West Coast, and I wanted to start my day off right with a Detroit Red Wings trade. Steve Eiserman is getting involved once again. He's doing the things that need to be done as a GM who actually takes initiative as the Detroit Red Wings have made a trade with the Arizona Coyotes, exchanging a goalie and a defenseman. The Red Wings send over Vili Sarajarvi over to the Coyotes in exchange for a goaltender right here. It's Eric Comrie. And this trade is not really a big one, but it's one that the Detroit Red Wings needed to make. They needed goaltending, and in this position, Iserman is pretty much sending away a young defensive player for the Grand Rapids Griffins on a Red Wings organization that has a lot of young defensive players. One may take a look at this and say, okay, that's great, Iserman is using the assets that Detroit has way too many of and using them to get assets that they need right now. In this, it's a 24-year-old goaltender in Eric Comrie who has a pretty okay track record. I don't want to say he's elite or anything, but Eric Comrie is a former Winnipeg Jets goaltender. He's always been good at the AHL level, but his limited time in the NHL with Winnipeg wasn't all too great. He then went over to the Arizona Coyotes, played for the Tucson Roadrunners, was pretty okay with them. I don't want to say he's amazing. Four games played a 275 goals against average and a 900 save percentage. That's not amazing, but at the same time, it's better than 899, for example. But Eric Comrie is now going to be a Detroit Red Wing organization prospect. He still technically counts, I guess. He's only played a few NHL games here and there. It's not really that big of a resume, but he is 24, he's 6 foot 1, 181 pounds, and the Red Wings really did need goaltending at this time. The goaltending situation in Detroit is kind of... Uh, it's weird right now. Take a look at it, Jonathan Bernier is sick, the guy just can't really play all too much, and Jimmy Howard is also out as well. He suffered a knee injury a few days ago. So if you take a look at who's supposed to be in net for the Red Wings, Bernier is kind of there, but you also have Philip Larson who isn't doing too great, an 8-4-3 save percentage on him. Then you also have Calvin Pickard as well. So the Red Wings are really in a weird scenario with their goaltending right now, and they had to give up a young Vili Sarajarvi in order to get another young goaltender who they could probably use in the NHL in the next few weeks. And as for Vili Sarajarvi, he's a young guy. He's 22 years of age. He is a right-handed defenseman who did do pretty okay with the Grand Rapids Griffins throughout his career so far, but it's nothing too spectacular. He's got one assist in 13 games played this year, and overall, he has a pretty interesting prospect profile, but for the most part, not too many people were super confident that he would eventually become an NHL player. At the same time, it is fair to say he's only 22, he's still got a lot of room, and the Arizona Coyotes are going to have to find a way to really bring out the best of Saraj Arvi, because so far, he's been a pretty meh kind of player, his AHL career numbers aren't great, nor has he been playing up to the standard that an NHL player would be playing at. But a lot of Grand Rapids Griffins fans really liked Saraj Arvi, and it would be upsetting to see him go. But the way things are right now, the Red Wings kind of did need a goalie, so it's only necessary to move your assets that you have a lot of in order to get your needs. With the additions of Moritz Sider and Oliver Kasky, I think you're in a position where you could kind of expend some of your other, a little bit older defensemen as well. So it makes sense to me why things are in that position. So I hope you enjoyed this video, Social Life Force 39. And bye. <laughs>